That's very important. It's important once it's the same as winning. When if you, if you keep on winning, it becomes habit forming. And it's the same as when if, if a side's losing, they keep on losing and losing and losing. England can't lose this season. They must keep up their fantastic form. Well, the teams, as you can see, coming out of the field now. Another disappointing attendance. Uh, there's been a lot of talk in the press about whether these games should be played at grounds in the provinces. And uh, I dare say one or two people might agree with that in view of the attendance this evening. And England playing in red as well, Ray, which I know you're not too keen on. Now, that annoys me. It's, uh, we're playing at home. The, op the opponent should change. We've travelled all over the world and we always have to change when we go to opponents' uh, opponent stadiums. Uh, but it seems that um, we have this ruling where with uh, the English gentleman always changes at home. Obviously what, an important match for Paul Parker this evening. I know uh, a lot of people have been saying that Gary Stevens is by and large assured of his place at right back, but uh, nevertheless an outstanding performance from him tonight and uh, he, he might start making uh, Bobby Robson have a second thoughts of it. <laughs> Ends. Delighted to say the stadium is filling up a wee bit as well. Ray, just briefly, how does it go? Well, I can honestly see us keeping hold of the this. team that they face tonight. Peter Shilton named in goal for the 117th time. Paul Parker presents his case for a regular job at right back. Then come three Nottingham Forest players, Stuart Pearce, Steve Hodge, Bobby Robson's man of the match against Denmark, and Des Walker, who wasn't far behind him on that occasion. Terry Butcher at number six, passing the captaincy back to Brian Robson, who passed the fitness test this morning on that bruised heel. Paul Gascoigne, more established now. Then Chris Waddle after a disappointing 50th cap a week ago. Gary Lineker, who reaches the 50 mark tonight. And finally, John Barnes starting again as a striker. Just from that side, beaten by Northern Ireland. One of them in goal, it's the turn of 36-year-old Eduardo Pereira. Then Nelson Gutierrez, one of only three survivors from that unsavoury World Cup match against Scotland. Hugo de Leon, another tall, tough defender. Then Jose Herrera, the right back. Jose Perdomo, who plays for Genoa in Italy. Alfonso Dominguez, the only one of the 11 who is based in Uruguay. Antonio Alzamendi, another of the 86 World Cup squads. Santiago Ostolaza, who operates in midfield. Enzo Francescoli, Chris Waddle's teammate in Marseille. Ruben Paz of Genoa, promoted from substitute in Belfast on Friday. And then Ruben Sosa, who also earns his living in here it. at Wembley. He'll be looking, and I'm looking, to make sure that that uh, is a bit more solid tonight, and I'm sure it will be. At the team headquarters yesterday. Parker, perhaps with most to play for. Oh, it was uh, an inviting ball played by Paul Parker. And if there's one thing that people say Paul Parker has above Gary Stevens is his distribution. And here we see this, for a striker, this is a perfect ball. Mike Ruben Sosa. This is Ruben Paz. Herrera coming forward from right back. He's got Alzamendi outside him. And uh, Herrera prepared to have a crack. He... Alzamendi. Trying to get in behind Pierce, who was determined to prevent the cross. It's so easy to knee the ball beyond Steve Hodge. Oh, and that's a fine pass too. And how good a linesman he is. Well, Stuart Pierce on Alzamendi. Barnes. Got it through to Gascoigne, who was fouled by Gutierrez after the ball had gone, but the referee played a good advantage. And Hodge very nearly... <laughs> Barnes and Butcher busy at the near post. Butcher! <laughs> Uruguay were fortunate to survive that. From Gascoigne's corner. For Gascoigne to take on the first. The foul was by 
Gutierrez. Gascoigne takes it in good part. The England manager will be pleased to see that. So too the referee. It's a blast from Pierce. Pereira met it with a save. Really at full stretch. Robson using what has become uh, a very potent weapon at set plays for Nottingham Forest. But here's finishes goalie. Alza Mendy, 4 forward for Uruguay. Ostalaza coming in with the header! A goal for Uruguay with 26 minutes gone. To delight their supporters. The, the counter-attack. Yes, well, I did see from the very beginning it looked like... As Bobby Robson would have liked, and he's got concern here with Alza Mendy, and... I know, Andy, you were looking at the uh, matches in that unbeaten run, and there was a point you picked out. Well, just finals would be played at Wembley, I'd be very, very confident, but I just had a little doubt about England's away performances. But there might be an equaliser for Barnes, who saw the opportunity to try and steer it wide of a goalkeeper who was starting to move off his line. Right. As Alzamendi did with the pass. Maybe now from Parker. Well, it's Lineker. And Barnes coming in. Certainly the crowd felt so. The England protests have died away. Waddle. Oh, that's cleverly done by Waddle and Pereira. Disappointed. Overall, England won't be pleased to go in at half-time, a goal down. It has been a very interesting first half, happily with none of the violence that is often associated with Uruguayan football. They certainly scored a high-quality goal. Eating the ball as it would have come across the goal. John didn't actually leave the floor there as the ball was hanging above the first defender. And I think he's got to think more instinctively as a centre forward. England players back out on the field, but uh, someone we must mention because uh, an important first half for him and a fantastic first minute as well, Paul Parker. I think Paul's done tremendously well. For me, he's been England's best player. Here in 66, as we've said, and uh, in 64, when they were beaten 2 1, two goals for England by Budgie Byrne. Well, that would have been an own goal. England haven't varied the corners very much. Barnes. Lenneker tries to bend it, but Ferreira saw it coming. Well, he's been too slippery for South American defenders in the past. On from Barnes, Lineker. England getting good support from midfield from Robson. Oh, and he might go all the way here, Brian Robson. And I don't think there was a case for a penalty then. It was... Uh, Penalties for so long, we haven't had one, so he is still on them. Pierce had to drive it in early. Our bar! into the second half. This is pure genius. This, this is John Barnes at his very best. Shoot Pierce's Hoysman. Barnes doesn't go for the challenge. Sees the defender missing it. It's good enough to keep his balance. Herrera. Parker on Sosa this time and fouling him. And I'm sure that Paul Parker's desire to do well is a little bit greater than Sosa's probably. Ruben Sosa. Was deflected. That's why the save was a difficult one. Not. Barnes. Oh, Lineker! And it wouldn't have been a goal in any case. Oh, and Ruben Sosa changed the direction then. Back to Alzamendi when England thought that it was going to go on to Francesco Lee. Oh, and Shelton! It's blocked by, by the power from Perdomo. What 
an astonishing free kick for Uruguay. Well, I must admit, I'm surprised at this. When he hit it, I thought Peter Tjeld had it covered. Gets two hands to it, but he just doesn't get enough. I really am. Barnes. Oh, that's a game done. In a way that could be such a major influence on the World Cup. To man is Steve Bill. Gascoigne. Wasn't much room there. He's found space. This is a wonderful run by Paul Gascoigne. Barnes. Pierce lines it up. And Gascoigne took them all on there. But there were just enough players back for Europe. The last time England had a corner. Here's Chris Watt. Oh, Pierce! Well, it well, was a very good chance. Yeah, it was a good chance, but you must give the goalkeeper to him. I don't know. Well, England set off on their World Cup adventure on a disappointing note. Certainly in terms of the result, beaten here by two goals to one, the uh, winner from Perdomo's free kick that stunned Peter Shilton after John Barnes had got a stunning goal of his own to bring England back to 1-1 at a time when it really looked as though they would go on and win it. <laughs>